this is Pitch Girl Blank here and welcome to the first episode of The Skulls General Reviews. First of all, if you can think of a better name than that, please let me know because I really kind of don't really like the title. I think it's kind of corny but I can't really think of anything better as of now so if you can think of any, any ideas that are better for the title that's better than that, please let me know. Um, and the question you are all probably asking is, what is this? Well, here I'm going to answer that. What it is, is that it's going to be a brand new review series uh, for this channel, which is hopefully going to help out this channel a lot in terms of being more about book two books. What one episode will be about is the reviewing of a book, or books if I'm reviewing more than one in the video with a slight twist. What I'm going to be doing in this, after showcasing the presentation of the book, the cover the spine on the back, uh, I am going to be talking about the general opinion on the book by taking a look on Goodreads and YouTube and looking at what people have to say uh, about it in general. Then afterwards I'll talk about my opinion on it and if I agree or not with the general opinion on, on the book or books if I read it. I haven't read, uh, if I haven't read the books yet, uh, or if I haven't read the book or books yet, yes, I'll be reading the books I haven't read more than later. I'll be, I'll give an anticipation rating, uh, from 1 to 10 out of 10, and say if I'm looking forward to the book or not. Now, if Underworld updates, I could see that series doing well, because everybody likes a good old showcase video. However, with this series, I don't really know if it's going to go well or not, and I can see it being a bit controversial and some people questioning the point of this series. Um, okay, take Tom's YouTube channel, TJ Productions. This channel is dedicated to the finish primarily, and I would say the same uh, with my book, just with books. Uh, now, with any good Doctor Who YouTube channel like his, he uploads big finish movies quite frequently, and that is what I'm kind of failing at doing that with, the, with the books. I mean, for goodness sake, my last book review was on 27th of August 2015 with science fiction, so hopefully with this series I'm, I'll be able to get uh, book reviews out more frequently. Um, and yes, this is why I'm going to be doing reviews of books I haven't read yet. And if I do a review like that, say the Cat's Cradle Trilogy, and then I read the book or books after the review, I may do a revisit episode. Another reason why I'm doing these anticipation reviews is because, as of now, I'm a pretty slow reader and I've got two books. And if I was to regularly just upload reviews of them, like two to three reviews a week, I'll eventually run out of material. So hopefully that has cleared some things up and now let's begin with the uh, first review of this series, Human. Okay then, so let's begin this review by taking a look at the uh, presentation of Human Nature. So up here we have BBC, Doctor Who, Human Nature, Paul Cornell. Then you've got the History Collection banner down here. Uh, and then here you have a picture of uh, Sylvester McCoy um, above a spill which is on fire. You can see all sorts of smoke and stuff merging into the clouds with a kind of nice um, uh, uh, kind of uh, moody sky background. Now, as much as I like uh, the cover uh, to this book, um, there is one problem I do have with it. And if you're an eagle-eyed uh, viewer, you might be able to spot it. Yeah, yeah, they cropped it a bit too uh, fine, uh, the school a bit too fine um, there, um, but still a uh, really nice cover and I do like it a lot. Then on the spine we have a we have the Doc 2 logo, a little BBC logo, Human Nature, the picture of Sylvester McCoy from the cover, uh, Paul Cornell and BBC Books, of course, that's it. Uh, then here's what that picture of Sylvester McCoy again, then you've focus, then you've got focus, then you've got that quote that's on every kind of history collection book. Uh, the doc says a legend woven throughout history. Um, then you've got the blurb and sorts of miscellaneous things. Um, Holton College in Norfolk 
is a school de dedicated to producing military officers, with the First World War uh, about to start. Uh, the boys will soon be on the front line, but no one expects a war, not even Dr. John Smith, the college's new head housemaster. The doctor's friend Benny is enjoying her holiday in the same town, but then she meets a future, a future version of the doctor and things start to get dangerous very quickly. With the doctor she knows gone and only a suffragette and, and an elderly rake for company, can Benny fight off a vicious alien attack and will Dr. Smith be able to save the day? An adventure set on Britain on the eve of the First World War featuring the seventh doctor that's played by Sylvester McCoy and his companion Benny Summerfield. Uh, and then down here you've got a small bit of uh, text saying uh, this book was the basis for the television story Human Nature and the Family of Bloods starring David Tennant. Uh, and then down here you've got the Doctor Who logo again, uh, the history collection, uh, barcode, little uh, tree symbol there, and then you've got a few miscellaneous things. Uh, that's the showcase. That's the showcasing of the uh, presentation done. Now let's go on to the general consensus of this book. Now this book has had quite a journey. Originally going to be a TV story for the Seventh Doctor, which never happened. This book was then published as an adaptation by the same author of the planned TV story in 1995. Then, over two decades later, Paul Cornell again adapted the novel into the television story *Human Nature and the Family of Blood*, the third series of the revived series. Also, in February 2015, it got reprinted as an instalment of the History Collection. This book, as you probably know, has gained critical acclaim and has gone down in history as what is generally regarded as the greatest Doctor Who novel ever. On Goodreads, this book has gotten 4 out of 5 to 5 out of 5 left, right and centre, with occasional sprinkling of a 3 out of 5, and has an average rating of 4.11 out of 5, with reviews like, Honestly, if you're going to read a Doctor Who novel, this is the one. 4 out of 5. One of the best pieces of original Doctor Who fiction yet published, a magnificent story full of humanity and wit. 5 out of 5. One of the most magnificently written Doctor Who novels ever written, and you can enjoy it without conflicting with the equally powerful TV version. Paul Cornell has a knack for probing the most emotional corners of the Doctor Who universe, and this may well be his finest example on the printed page. An utter triumph from every level, 5 out of 5. And with YouTube, it's the same story, very highly regarded. And I'm probably not the first one to say this, but I do find this book uh, a bit overrated. Um, don't get me wrong, I would still say it's a fantastic novel. Um, I would definitely say it isn't the best. Um, in fact, I would say it's the fourth weakest out of the five history collection books I have, um, which you'll probably see on the screen by now. Um, and there are better Doc 2's out books out there. I enjoyed books like Shadow and the Glass, The Round Heads, The Witch Hunters, Bad Therapy, Ten Little Aliens, um, any others? Uh, so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, there's like other Doctor novels that I've enjoyed uh, a lot more than this book, like the ones I've just named. Um, uh, so yeah, but I still would agree that it's an absolutely fantastic book. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend this book. It's a fantastic read, and um, I would say there is better Doctor Who books out there, like I just said, and ones that I recommend above this one. Um, but I will still say it's quite a uh, fantastic Doctor Who book, nonetheless, and <coughs> it's still one I would highly, highly recommend. <coughs> and. Um, in regards to history, in terms of the uh, lines of uh, Doctor Who books and Doctor Who original novel publication, uh, this is probably the most um, historic um, or kind of historically important kind of um, because simply because it's like the most uh, iconic Doctor Who uh, novel ever, and it's generally gone down in history as the best Doctor Who book ever. Um, so yeah, overall I find Human Nature um, a bit overrated, um, but I still enjoyed it uh, enormously nonetheless, and um, 
and I would definitely recommend it, although there are better Doxy books out there, like Shadow of the Glass, The Roundheads, The Witch Hunters, Tennis Lalians, Bad Therapy, etc. I would overrate Human Nature an 8 out of 10. And that pretty much concludes the Skulls General Reviews Episode 1. So like for everyone, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to this series. I I definitely am. Uh, so yeah, so like for everyone, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Picture Girl Black, dematerializing. <laughs>